Good morning, good people. I'm Father Christopher Popravec, serving our order in the wider church in San Antonio, Texas. I've been a friar for 56 years. On October 7th, 1571, two forces met in battle. On the one side were the Catholic navies of Spain and Italy. On the other, Muslim ships of the great Ottoman Empire. Over 400 naval units were involved, with Catholic forces greatly outnumbered by the advancing Turkish fleet. Fearing the outcome of this imminent threat to Western Europe, Pope St. Pius V asked Catholics to pray the rosary for victory. The Catholic cause seemed dire, but the good Pope believed that a power greater than military might could spell the difference. After five hours of intense naval warfare off the coast of western Greece, Ottoman forces were defeated. Never again would Turkish ships threaten the existence of Christian Europe. More than a military victory, historian Paul Davis wrote, the Battle of Lepanto was a moral one. As historical faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam have seen God's hand in world events. From the seizing of Canaanite lands in order to form the nation of Israel, to Constantine's victory under the banner of the Christian cross, victory has been attributed to God. Today's feast, Our Lady of the Rosary, was instituted by St. Pius V to commemorate a victory at sea over the forces of another religious tradition, Islam. Was God on our side during the decisive battle at Lepanto? Certainly, Pope Pius V thought so, and many other Catholics as well. But questions are asked in this day and age. Does God take sides in religious conflicts? Obviously, that question is a very sensitive and difficult one in our day and age. But ultimately, it may lead us to ask a much more important question. Is violence the way that we should resolve political differences? Pope Francis tells us, peace is a precious gift, which must be promoted and protected. Never has the use of violence brought peace in its wake. War begets war. Violence begets violence. Thank you for listening to this talk of Good Morning, Good People. We friars constantly pray for you. Please remember to pray for us. God bless.